Hey Aries, how are you doing? This is a bonus reading for Aries for the month of June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Aries, if you're new to my channel, I'm an Aries rising and your rising sign is as important as your sun sign. So I get you guys, I feel you guys, I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax and enjoy the reading. What is going on? for the fabulous and most amazing Aries. What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What's coming toward you? The Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. There you are standing in your power. What you are focused on is the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And your outcome is the Tower, Major Arcana for Scorpio. Okay, Aries. Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is somebody who is kind, caring, devoted, hardworking, a loving type of an energy. That can also be some kind of new offering, a cup of love, or something creative that you are getting off the ground. And to pay attention to your intuition, I feel like your intuition is strongly pulling you to some kind of new journey or to be flexible or to do something spontaneously. And no risk, no reward. And I feel like you're going to do this. Whatever this new venture is. This could have something to do with job and career. Or you're not quite fully out of something. It's like being in, being in between two worlds. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. This can also be like counselor, therapist, holistic medicine. And maybe this is some kind of avenue you want to take or you want to pursue. And the Seven of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Seven of Pentacles is about reflection and being very practical. Seeing how far you have come to this very day. And taking stock, reflecting, and giving yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. And this is who do I want to invest in? What is worth my time investing in? Should I scrap this idea? What do I want to commit to for the long haul? And what is kind of holding me back? And this could actually be some kind of huge weight or relief being taken off of you. I feel like this could be like a friend, a mother... Who you can like um, have a conversation with. Or like there's finances here. Ace of Pentacles is a windfall coming in. It's tangible. It's something you can taste, touch and feel and get your hands on it. New house, new job, new commitment, new creative endeavor. Or like some kind of lucky opportunity. A lucky investment. It's almost like a lucky charm. Let's see what this fool energy is. And the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. And the Nine of Swords is thinking and thinking and overthinking and stressing and thinking about a person, place, and or a situation to the point where you are paralyzed in thought, needing to get more rest, needing to get more sleep. And for some of you, Queen of Cups and Seven of Pentacles is investing more time into self-care, self-love, self-acceptance, and very nurturing towards yourself or some kind of investment. Nine of Swords, I feel like there's an energy of you being like, yeah, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to take this class or I'm going to, you know, move, relocate. I'm, I'm taking a new journey. I, I'm going to be flexible about this. And then something like a negative intrusive thought 
comes into your head being like, no, I don't, I don't think I can do that. Mm, what if I'm not good enough? What if people don't like it? What if I put myself out there and it gets rejected? But what if it doesn't? This is worst case scenario or needing to get more rest. For some of you, you're doing a lot. And 10 of wands is about asking for help and support. So a needing to delegate or off duty some kind of task, get your friend to run an errand. But see here, it's like the nine and the 10. In your blocked and challenged position is the Ten of Swords. So there's some kind of dead end already or dead end job, a dead end investment. But it's for you to invest in yourself. Yeah, Two of Wands. Making plans, but strategizing, but go forth with your plans. And it might not be comfortable for another person, but this is what you want to do. So I feel like you're overthinking it. Or your thoughts are getting the best of you, of you. Be patient. Think about it. Ten of Wands. This is like carrying a one-sided situation. Feeling, you know, overworked, overburdened. Or moving away from some kind of burden, burdensome situation. And the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And see the Two of Pentacles has the scales on there. And the scales is about, again, you can handle anything. You're Aries for crying out loud. But does that mean that you have to take on other responsibilities or obligations? This is about finding balance or something to do with balancing the budget or needing to move around your finances. Two pentacles can also be my all work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. So there could be like a friend that wants to invest in you and maybe just having a conversation can take your mind off something else that's going on. This is also weighing up your options. Do I stay or do I go? What are the pros and what are the cons to this situation? Write down the pros, write down the cons, get brutally honest with yourself. If there's more pros, proceed forward. If there's more cons... Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles can also be my slippery slope where your agenda is so full. And when your agenda is so full here, Aries, it means that your attention's here, your attention's there, your attention's over here, you're there, there, there. You're feeling pulled in so many different directions. And it's so easy to drop the ball. And at the same time, your energy is scattered all over the place. It's everywhere but in your body. So again, this nurturing of self, slow down. Because I feel like it will slow down the thought process. Let's see what this Ten of Swords is. You could also have somebody um, or like juggling between two places. Do I want to live here or do I want to live there? Yeah, Ten of Swords. And your blocked and challenged position is needing to put an end to a situation. And Temperance. Major Arcana for Sagittarius. And this is an energy of divine guidance. Or you're divinely guided on your journey. So overthinking a scenario of like, when I start something new... Is this going to backfire on me? I don't feel like it is. This is like your past on loved ones, your angels, your guides. You're not seeing them, but they're there. And somebody is losing their patience in some kind of ending of a situation. But Ten of Swords can also be feeling defeated or accepting a defeat in some kind of situation and a needing to heal Temperance is about doing things within balance and moderation, not rushing or doing anything excessively at this time. But when it's in the blocked and challenged position, either their tempers are flying or you're feeling extremely restless or trying to push something or somebody around you is. And you just have to ask yourself, how much more do you want to compromise in this situation? 
This is a card of acceptance. Acceptance of self and mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually needing to check in with number one, which is Aries. So here, there needs to be healing around this Ten of Swords, some kind of ending. But emotionally, how are you feeling with this situation? Because you're still feeling a little bit blocked and challenged by it. Physically, are you getting out and getting enough exercise? Are you drinking your H2O? Um, are you meditating? And spiritually, like, diving deeper into spirituality could really help dissipate this Nine of Swords. Because your outcome is the tower. And the tower speaks of, like, having some kind of huge realization, revelation, or upheaval. Chaos, drama, or uprooting your whole life. And you, again, I think you've thought this through a lot. You see the writing on the wall of this dead ending. Nine of Pentacles could be doing something solo. Or there could be some kind of shocking offer coming in. And again, it's like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I want to take this. I want this investment. And then you overthink it. Or your mind gets the best of you. So get out of your head there. And get into your heart space. Your heart and your intuition is your best compass. And the tower. Holy smokes. Aries. You might be blowing up two things. Because it's clarified with the tower. And you have the ten of wands and this two of pentacles. So blowing up one investment... And here, needing to heal around some other situation. And again, Fool card is your outlet. There also could be a Scorpio here. Who's like uprooting their life. Maybe they're losing their patience. Page of Swords. Some kind of communication. I would just watch this page of swords because this is somebody who's really triggered. Their feathers are ruffled. Or somebody who talks a really big story, but they talk a lot, but their words and actions do not match. So just because somebody talks good words and says they're going to show up, do they actually show up and take that action? And with this um, page of swords, this is my parrot. This is somebody who gossips or just talks, 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 talk, talk, talk. And people who talk a lot carry the most insecurities because they want validation and approval that they're good enough. But really, they're still learning or they say some things that are naive or blunt. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you've got a choice here. And like I was saying about that one big pinnacle, it's like taking a better job opportunity or taking something to do with like home. You know, you could be really fired up at this time. Trust in divine purpose right here. In your blocked and challenged position, you're not trusting to possibly put an end to a situation or this is a roadblock like this is a dead end stick a fork in it this experience has divine meaning healing will come know that you are on the path of growth this is not a small growth spurt here Aries this is a big one and is it going to be all rainbows and skittles and unicorn glitter no it's trying to get you outside of the familiar and the comfortable zone. Be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. And you know, Aries, you are a free-spirited type of an energy you want things done like yesterday. <laughs> and so you're like leading by example here. Or there's something about 
You are an inspiration, a bright light to others. You're showing people what is possible. And to not stay in dead-end jobs or to stay in some kind of dead-end contracts. Take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. And see how there's a lock and key there. So there could be like you unlocking some kind of wisdom within you. Or there is something about unlocking a new door. No, it is not yet time. This is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. So here, if you're losing your patience... Well, you already know that um, that this is a dead end. Just don't lose your patience. The opportune time is coming. You already know what you're going to do here. Vulture. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And like I said, even if people are going against you here, here Aries, haters going to hate. Whether you're doing bad or good, so you might as well just be keep on trucking down the road doing good. And if you are feeling that depression or anxiety, you have an outlet, this Queen of Cups, which is invest in like counseling, therapy. It's nice to have an outlet just to talk to somebody who's non-biased and somebody who's very therapeutic and gentle. Casket. Holy smokes. Someone going out of your life or an ending to a situation. We already know that. Look at that. Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Shock factor. Or here. It's like you're, you're like, oh my goodness. This came in. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> you're overthinking it. And it says, chain of events that will affect your life. Tiger. Okay, you have the fool card times two. Doing something risky, taking a chance. And, you know, choice, chance, and change is the three C's. You got to make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. And I love that saying. And see how you got the tiger on there? You're a trailblazer here, Aries. And don't forget it. And mice. Discord amongst friends or family. Yeah, this is people possibly very triggered. Or wanting you to do something their way. Could be three people. Like, um... A few individuals that are like, why would you go and do that, Aries? Don't suck against yourself here. Lily, spiritual love. Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Know that you are on a path of growth. It's not a small growth spurt here. And growth spurts are so uncomfortable, but... The reward is bigger than sitting where you are right now. Tree affairs with your family. Yeah. And diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. See? Told you so. Something better is coming. And it's a better offering. But yeah, you could be blowing up two things. Or there could be two people. Two individuals. That are wanting you to do it their way, but you got to do it your way and you're overthinking it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.